Hello there, my name's Neil, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a drum kit from bits and pieces that you can find in the house. So we're going to need a few different things from around the house, and they might be in different rooms, but get a grown-up to help you find them, because some of them might be in the kitchen. So I've got a few saucepans here that will make slightly different sounds. I have an upturned lid of one of these saucepans to use as a symbol. I have a low bass drum sound, which I'm using a kind of waste paper bin, but you can also use a plastic tub, uh, something that you might keep kind of books in or toys in. Uh, I also have a small plastic Tupperware that I'm going to be using as a snare drum. That'd be a snare drum in the middle here, bass drum, and then various other bits of percussion we've got as well. I also, most importantly, have two wooden spoons that I'm going to be using as drumsticks. And if you've seen our other videos, uh, you might see that there's a, a video about how to make your own musical instruments. Uh, I actually have a shaker, but you can build one by uh, filling up a plastic bottle with rice. Now, when we're playing drums, it's very important to remember our ABCs. Always be counting. It's always about trying to keep everything very even and very set out so that you can keep pace with other people and keep the tempo of a song steady and even so that it doesn't speed up or slow down. Now, a nice even tempo sounds something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. An uneven tempo might sound something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four. See, the first one is much more simple and easy to follow along for everybody, and it's just very important that as a drummer, you keep that rhythm very even and steady. Now, using that one, two, three, four, we're going to split it out over this kit and hit this one on one and three, and hit this one on two and four. So it would go something like this one, two, We can also start adding extra little bits to our one, two, three, four by doing stuff like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Adding a double in on this hand occasionally. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can also start adding in the maracas and adding in another layer to this. But this would mean playing with this hand. So this hand has to hit both of these on the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now that we've got the basic one, two, three, four, we can start changing things up and moving those hits to different parts of the kit. So I'm going to start subdividing those down. And so I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on this hand, but I also have one, two, three, four on this hand. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now that we've got some of the basic techniques down, have fun with it and experiment and see what sounds good when you play along with other people or with songs on the radio. Maybe you can play along to your favourite nursery rhymes or favourite songs that you like to sing. Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Now some of these things might take a little bit of practice, but that's okay. Feel free to watch the video over as many times as you want and really nail them down.